I have not failed. I have successfully discovered 10,000 things that won't work. Sir Thomas Edison. Good morning all respected principal, Father Rohan D. Almeida, Honorable Chief Guest, and the resource person, Mr. P. Thilay Chidamaram, teachers, students, and all those are taking part in this event. A warm welcome to everyone for the CIPLO, the annual science exhibition 2021-2022, St. Joseph School, CBSC, Bangalore. Kindly remain on mute. A new day means a fresh start, new opportunities. So let's greet the day with invoking God's presence and blessing through a prayer song. I kindly invite Mr. Anand and team to lead us into the prayer. kindness received. Thankfulness is a natural impulse to express that feeling. Now let's have a glimpse of judges who were part of the Cyclo event journey 2021.
With grateful heart, we would like to thank all our judges for their generosity, time and dedication, which made it possible for us to reward our students for their creative efforts. Thank you all teachers. Moments come and go, but memories last forever. Let's sit back and enjoy our journey of Cyplo from 2015 till date. That was a nice memory to look back and see how far we have reached. It's not the destination journey continues. Now I invite our principal Father Rohan D. Almeida to say a few words. Good morning. Dear students. Members of the staff. The parents. It is said that every morning we are born again. What we do today is what matters the most. Respected resource person for a resource person of the day, Dr. P. Sidlai Chidambaram, Father Vijay Raju, the finance officer, the coordinator of our school, Ms. Shirley, Ms. Siba and Konima. Dear parents, members of the staff, and my dear students, once again, a very good morning to you all. On behalf of Team St. Joseph School CBSE, 
I share a sense of pride and great pleasure in welcoming all our participants to this virtual science exhibition Cyclos. It is indeed a joy to have in our midst Mr. P. Sirlai Chidambaram, who is a renowned personality in the field of science. When our teachers requested him to be the resource person and enlighten our students, especially on scientific temper, he readily accepted and he has joined us and we are very happy and delighted to have him with us. I extend a warm welcome to you, dear sir, and we are eagerly waiting to listen to you and enlightened by your insights in the field of science. Dear friends, although it is the early hours of a weekend, I see many participants, including teachers, parents, students and uh, many of our well-wishers joined this virtual site floor 2021. It is a great moral boost for all of us. It is said that knowledge is of no use unless you put it into practice. This is particularly true about uh, science. The national education policy which uh, has come into existence in India focuses on development of scientific temper and uh, in the whole document, especially in the school education sector, four times the scientific temper is referred in the national education policy. And uh, it also speaks about related concept of scientific temper with evidence-based thinking, experience-based uh, experience, uh, learning, activity-based learning. And it also focuses on scientific method with critical thinking, problem solving, analysis, applied knowledge, applying knowledge to the present context. So, Keeping in all these all these things in mind, for the past few years, St. Joseph School School CBSC has followed the ritual of conducting annual science exhibition, where students uh, participate in preparing models and experiments and exhibit their talents in the field of uh, science. Cyclor aims at encouraging students to test their scientific skills of model making, presentation and reasoning. However, in the light of the restrictions due to COVID-19 pandemic for the past two years, last year and this year, our school has arranged this virtual platform for the students to present their talent. And we will be witnessing the glimpses of their innovative models and experiments uh, from few minutes from now. What is interesting is in spite of several hurdles and challenges, our teachers and students have achieved this goal and turned this crisis into an opportunity. That is a, a great venture, I feel. So we are in an online platform, students are not in the school, uh, students are not able to come to the lab, but their houses have become labs and they have experimented so many things in their own houses and they have made the video and sent to the students for the competition. We further have an interesting session by our resource person, uh, Mr. Chidambaram, who will be speaking about his knowledge in the field of science and how our students can also inculcate this uh, scientific temper. So we are happy that he is with us. Once again, I welcome him and thank him for joining us. I request all of you to sit back and partake in this event and take uh, back a lot of loads of motivation and fond memories of this site floor, though we are in an online platform. Before I conclude, I congratulate all the participants and the winners. Uh, I don't congratulate only the participants, I congratulate all the participants. So we may have selected a few students as winners, but everybody is the winner because you have experimented something or the other in the field of science. Therefore, I congratulate everybody. And uh, those who are winners, uh, those who are not won the prize, you can win your prizes 
uh, win, uh, in the future days to not be disappointed. And uh, I also congratulate and thank all the teachers, the committee, side floor committee headed by Ms. Anusha was and all other staff members who have planned for this uh, program, this event meticulously and organize this event, online event, and uh, I wish them all the best. The students sit back and enjoy the Sci Floor 2021. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, Father. Educating is not about learning facts, but training of mind to think. We will begin our webinar on the signs of happiness, health, and well being during COVID 19. Ms. Annie and Ms. Rima will be the moderator of today's webinar session. If you have any Q&A, you can kindly utilize the chat window. We will have the Q&A session at the end of the webinar. The chief guest of for today's webinar is Mr. P. Tillai Chinamaram. Now I call upon Ms. Anusha to introduce the chief guest of the day. It is indeed a great honor and privilege to introduce today's guest speaker, Mr. P. Tilai Chidambaram, an expert in presentation skills for this webinar. P. Tilai Chidambaram has completed his BSc in Zoology, Diploma in Biotechnology from Madurai University, MSc in Zoology from Anamalai University. He is the lead in data science and data engineering team by Crop Science Bengaluru. He has a vast experience as a research technician and in plant technology and gene expression technology from Madurai Kamraj University. He is well acquainted with different methods involved in biotechnology and molecular biology. List of key publications of PTLI are Virus Genes Volume 33, Plant Disease, and Archives Virology, Volume 149. He has participated in a number of national and international conferences and presented different scientific papers, trainings, and webinars. It's my pleasure to welcome you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Now we'll be, we will begin our webinar on the signs of happiness, health and well-being during COVID-19. Over to you, sir. Thank you so much, madam, and thanks for the nice introduction, madam. Thanks a lot. Good morning, uh, everyone. I'm going to share my screen. So I will just switch off my video and I will share my screen, right? Can you all see my screen? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm not going to the uh, presentation mode because I have some difficulties in um, projecting the slides, right? So um, first of all, I would like to uh, thank for uh, this opportunity to reach out to the students, the students community and to just present about the signs of happiness, health and well-being during COVID-19 uh, um, in the uh, uh, Cypro 2021. The moment I heard the name from uh, Madam Vani, I was just so, uh, no, um, um, I was so, so amazed to see the um, uh, terminology, how the word has been coined, right? And you know, uh, I've uh, seen um, the science um, expo what you have conducted from 2015 till now and you know all the experiments were amazed and I've seen a lot of enthusiasm with the students community on science and related topics. So with that brief introduction, I would like to give again a brief intro about myself, right? And as Madam uh, um, Anusha um, mentioned, I just started my career uh, as a molecular biologist Till 2014, I really do not know what is data. Even I'm, I'm not sure how to open and work on Excel, right? And now I'm leading the team. It's called a laboratory information management system where we store a lot of data, not only 
uh, the data which we develop in India, uh, but also uh, the, the we um, manage or we maintain the data which has been developed in US, Australia and across the globe, right? So what that means is again, uh, the motivation and the commitment, right, uh, to science and you know towards the learning. So that made me to come to a uh, uh, um, long way through. So th that's where where I am, right. So I'm leading a team of uh, ten people uh, who are uh, you know, uh, working on uh, uh, data analytics, right. Having said that, uh, I will just you now touch base uh, uh, with uh, you know the work what we do at the Bayer. Right, so Bayer Crop Science has three different portfolios. One is on crop science, where uh, uh, the scientific community or the scientific team they uh, involve and they uh, they uh, no, um, increase the efficiency of crop to 10 percentage, which gives benefit to the farmers and uh, it reduces the use of um, fertilizers and water fertilizer and water right so that's the main aim for a uh, crop science division and another division we have uh, is the um, pharmaceutical one again on the team they deal with a lot of pharmaceutical research and they develop medicines for cancer or um, for um, other uh, uh, diseases the third portfolio is on uh, the consumer health where um, we buy the medicine on on the counter medicine, whatever the medicine we buy. So we deal with that. I belong to crop science division and I'm expert in molecular biology, all molecular biology techniques like cloning, starting from cloning and you know, transformation of plant and you know, doing bioassays. Then to 2015, I moved my career to data science. Now I'm leading the team, right? That's a brief introduction about myself and the company where I came from, right? I will move on to the next slide. So before I move on to the uh, the real uh, topic that signs of happiness, health and well-being during COVID-19, I want to uh, play with uh, uh, students. OK, a small quiz. Are you all ready? So what you have to do is please um, maybe either on your, your uh, phone or on the browser, please type www kahoot.it I will guide you. It's a very small uh, quiz and it will be for uh, five minutes. Have you all typed kahoot? Yes. Okay. Uh, students are on mute, right? Give me a minute. Sorry for the technical glitch. I hope you type www.kahoo.it, right? It will ask for a pin. Can you please type in this pin over there? I will just share it on the screen. So you have to type in www.kahoot.it. Right, and please type in three one one seven four two one on your screen. And whoever is typed in, you will see your name over here.
Very good. We have one participant, Akshata. Great. We'll wait for a couple more seconds. Very good. Nice participation. Good. So this is not going to be a test, just a kind of a fun activity. I want to understand how best you understood about the current situation. So current situation in the sense again, we are going to talk about COVID and its effect and how we can overcome or how we can face such challenges, right? Very good. There is a lot of participants, one or two. I was amazed. Great. So we will start the session, right? I'm going to start the session. So uh, thing is, you will uh, um, see uh, the question over here and uh, from your mobile or at your uh, screen, you can uh, press the answer over there and select. It's a kind of a multiple choice question, right? So question, first question, the coronavirus spreads from person to person through air in the form of what? Please type, press the uh, correct answer. Whichever is correct, please present. Okay, so these many people have responded and the correct answer is by the viral droplets, right? Not with the dust particle or with bacteria, so it's with viral droplets, right? The next question and uh, this is the leaderboard and Nanda. He is in first position, so we will move on to the next question. Which of these is not a common symptom of COVID-19? Oh, very good. <laughs> good. OK, so this is not but rest all it's a no a symptom of COVID fever running, running nose and cough, right? So we will move on to the next and this is the leaderboard and now. Akshata. She's the top. We we'll move on to the third question. It's a true or false. Kids can't get COVID-19, so kids may they may get it, but again, or the immunity level of for kids it will be high when compared to the uh, mother people in the age. So kids may get it, but the severity won't that much, right? I will move on to the next question, and again, who is leading? Rima with two, three, five, four. Good. Fourth question. Good. COVID stands for a coronavirus disease 2019 because this has been identified or noticed during 2019, right? So that's how they just named the disease or the virus, right? COVID-19. We'll see who's in the lead. Again, Rima. This is the final question.
yeah. So uh, this is the timing. They say 20 seconds. You have to wash your hands. Suppose if you felt that you just you know contact any of the surface or you know uh, um, like any contaminated place. Please, this is the recommendation from WHO. Right, 20 seconds you have to use um, so to get rid of the uh, infectious whatever you know bacteria or virus. Right. So that's all about the quiz and we'll see who's the top one, two and three. So this is in the third place, Akshata. And the Selvi is on the second place and the is on the first one. Congratulations to the winners. And thanks for uh, your great participation. Right, we will move on to the slides now. Hope you have enjoyed the first session. Now I'll move on to the uh, presentation. Right, so before I go in deep, right, so we will, I, I know, um, kids, you will know about the virus. I know you must have read. Uh, in newspapers or an in internet or WhatsApp messages, but I would like to touch base with what is uh, uh, COVID-19, right? It's, it's a, a SARS uh, class virus, right? And again, uh, as you all know, virus is the very tiny particle. I know if you um, think this is the red blood cells, right? Red blood cell. So when compared to a red blood cell, but our virus will be like you no know, 20 to 30 fold. It's very, very uh, smaller one. It's a, it's a tiny one and this virus will spread. When a person is infected with COVID and if he sneezes or coughs, the virus will spread and this is the mode of uh, um, uh, spreading of virus. And again, if this droplet falls on a surface and if anyone come in contact with that particular uh, droplets, so that way the virus can uh, enter into the body of the host, right? And again, you may be wondering again uh, how and what is the passage or path this virus enters, right? And uh, virus does not have its own mechanism to multiply, so it needs a host mechanism. So what that means is it needs any of a cell like you no know, like bacteria or a human cell. So in COVID case, it needs uh, uh, lung cells. So whatever the cells are covered on the lungs, OK, this will get proliferated. This virus virus will get proliferated in the lung cells. So that's the reason again, oh, it damages the lungs and it causes the lesions. So as a result, the other complications will come up, right? So that's the reason again. Also, the passage of entry of this virus is through nasal, right? Once it enters the nasal and it will try to reach our lung cell. So once it reaches there, and again, the infection will happen. So the theory is we should not allow the virus to enter into our nasal passage. So that's the reason uh, the recommendation by WHO is to wear the mask, wash hands properly, you sanitize your hands. Uh, properly, right? I will move on to the next slide. So, what happened uh, with this uh, pandemic or with this uh, virus, right? Because of the spread of virus, uh, see, uh, it created a, you know, a big damage to the entire world, not only to a specific country or region, it's just uh, you know, given a, a complete damage to the entire world. So, people are uh, in you know, a great stress because of this, you know. Uh, pandemic disease and you know many people have lost their job life right because of uh, their job again you know, um, um, the financial crisis has increased right i know their uh, routine life is you know totally ruined again you know, people cannot go out from the house and they cannot meet or you know for any functions you know they have to carry always they have to carry mask and you know um, um, sanitizer like that then before and after the covid infection again of the um, um, major diseases right see heart or you know 
um, lung disease has happened and again it totally damage our body organs right then overall what causes is a mental uh, stress right again it can be for adults or it can be for the kids so for kids again they will feel that they are not able to go out of home and they are not able to play with their friends and families but for adults again no, we are not able to go to office meet friends or meet or no go to any of the functions so that's how the mental stress uh, is there with the entire community so what how to overcome these no um, uh, virus uh, um, pandemic stuff so we will see in the next slide so as we know that the virus is there and it's a, it's a pandemic all over the world but uh, how uh, we need to uh, no respond to that right so we should not be so we have to panic but we should not be panic too much right so think positive so nothing is going to happen uh, having said that nothing is going to happen having said that so we have to like no respond towards that like you know if you want to wear mask means we have to wear mask if it has to be well sanitized we have to uh, do sanitization and again no, don't go to crowd so if you follow that again no, we are 100% safe right and no, if someone is talking to you okay in a different way or in a different tone or in a negative way that oh this is going to ruin the entire world but no make them or educate them you are all know about the um, virus uh, how it is going to affect um, and the passage or how it is going to multiply right educate them if people does not know uh, the basics please educate them talk positive okay and uh, wherever it's possible please help them to overcome such stress or you know anxieties right so there are plenty of uh, other ways to overcome with the stress see one good thing is again you know, uh, connecting spiritually i know everybody will uh, do at home but we can just do a little more like you no know, participate in yoga competitions or uh, yoga from home virtually i'm telling not uh, personally it's virtually again you know, reading is a good habit so that if during the free time if you do not have uh, you your parents won't allow you to just you know go to your friends place so if you have time read a book that's going to give you a uh, uh, good uh, like no um, so your vocabulary will increase you will learn lot of things again okay, no it's going to be different from what you study right so reading is a good habit you can uh, do that to overcome overcome the stress and develop a new skills see you yes you are studying and you know or to play cricket carrom or whatever it may be just learn some other skill if you think about the skills which you do not have right and you know uh, develop such skills like there are a lot of online um, um, learning uh, platforms are there you can do i can it's uh, coding is my you know um, um, button jam so i will say there are a lot of platform who taught uh, teachers uh coding how to create a game and how to do that so do that so that way you can just engage in that and you know listen music so that really it helps to overcome with the stress and you no know, you can uh, um no um fight against covid again there is a scientific say, saying that if you uh, read okay right so if you read more you can reduce your stress so 60 percentage you can reduce your stress by that you will increase your heart life more right and similarly again you know, by developing a new skill as i mentioned you will have you will have one skill extra and you know your uh, by reading you will your vocabulary skills will increase and by hearing music again you will uh, your stress level goes down and your memory will boost up so these are the few uh, good things about uh, you know uh, your uh, like you know by reading or by you know doing other or increasing your skill levels by doing this uh, we can just you know uh, fight against this pandemic right and now everybody uh we are uh, working from home or work uh, taking class from home 
and again, no, um, this is the overall survey which says again, no, uh, people, uh, many people who work from home, they think that their um, um, work level, like 57%, they have increased their uh, productivity level, right? And going forward, many people they want to work from home rather instead of going to office, they want to work from home. So that's again close to 76 percentage of people they are. Uh, telling that they want to work from home because they enjoy working from home and they, their productivity also is more. I know certain companies like Google and you know even in our company, only the lab team we are uh, going to the lab and they are working, but uh, the data science or the data team we are working from home till this year, right? So again, no, uh, these are the biggest struggle uh, we face. Again, no, we in the sense of everyone, like teachers, uh, um, students, and you know uh, the uh, working professionals, right? Um, while we work remotely, so these are the few struggles we face. Many times we ourselves uh, forget to unplug our system or shut down our system. Right, there are uh, like no 29, 22 percentage of people they have uh, responded uh, that they forget to or unplug after their work. And I feel you know this is uh, with the students, uh, they will feel this one distractions at home 10 percentage, right? You will face like when you attend online classes, uh, your mom, she will come back and she will say she want to clean or take cloths, things like that. So these are the distractions you will face as a students. And uh, no, as a working professionals, what uh, we feel is again or taking vacation. It's really, really diff difficult and people tend to work uh, for a long working hour. So these are the few struggles people face. But again, no, this is going to be part and parcel of our life. We have to take it in a positive way, right? And uh, we have to handle the situation in a better way. So having said that, again, uh, we are working remotely. So these are the few precautions we have to take. And we know uh, how the virus spreads and uh, what is the mode of action of the virus, right? So we know how to be precautious. So don't gather uh, in the crowd. Right, don't go to a crowded place if you are going there. Say, for example, you have to go to certain places to say, for example, if you want to go to a school to submit things. So what you have to do is you have to do that. But again, oh, make sure that you are wearing mask and you are sanitizing properly. I know don't touch and talk too much. So you know, follow the keep the physical distance and you know, continuously have sanitize your Right, so by this way we can you know, avoid the spread. And uh, I uh, I know you will ask for one more uh, stuff is missing here, right? So what is that? So that's the vaccine, right? And uh, now vaccine sort of available, and uh, this is the uh, you know, real hit from the scientific community, right? So 2019 the virus spread has happened, and again, you know, uh, scientists, uh, they have worked <coughs> on the development of vaccine and you know, um, soon they brought the vaccine to the market. And now this is saving a lot of hundreds and thousands of lives during this pandemic uh, situation. So what is my uh, um, uh, suggestion to all the students and who are there in the webinar is please recommend your, uh, I know for kids the vaccines are not ready soon. It will be available in the market, but whoever is eligible for taking the vaccine, please take the vaccine. Again, this vaccine, don't uh, run around for which company, which make. You know, so vaccine is a vaccine. Whatever the vaccine is available in India, please take it. It gives protection, but it is not. Uh, after taking the vaccine, don't think that you are 100% safe. See vaccine, it will prevent you from getting the infection. But it's not that you won't get the infection. You will get it, but the severity level will be very, very, very less. The uh, fatal rate is very, it's nil almost. If people who have taken the vaccine, it's totally nil. And uh, this picture, what this indicates is again, uh, uh, during the pandemic situation, again, 
our uh, the front line workers they have helped a lot so we are as a whole community we are so thankful to the front line workers right and with that so again the take home is uh, we know how the virus spreads and what's the mode of action please be cautious don't get panic please be cautious and use all the safety measures I'm sure we will uh, know, uh, overcome with this situation and make sure your parents, your grandmothers, your relatives are taking the vaccine. If people does not know about this, please educate them or ask people to talk to uh, you know, a counselor or a person who are knowledgeable about that, right? And having said that, this is my last slide. So this is what uh, my wish to the students uh, you know, to the students community and for the working professionals who are working from home so we want to go back to office and work with our friends and colleagues similar way we would like to send our kids to school um, um, to get in touch with their friends teachers and be there in the school that's all i have uh, if you have any questions I'm good to answer. Thank you, sir, for enlightening us with on how to stay positive and creating awareness. Um, now we will go ahead to take some questions. Uh, I would request the moderator to read out the questions for the resource person. Thank you, sir. That was indeed uh, a brief information about COVID-19. So the first question here is, if someone already has a pre-existing mental health condition, how they can protect or promote their mental well-being? Okay, a good question. Uh, that's what I just said. Okay, uh, by the end. One minute, I'll switch. Yeah, that's a really good question. Again, now. Um, that's what I said. So one, you can just you know get in touch with the counselor, right? Okay, or anyone who knows about the subject, right? And there are many ways to overcome the stress, right? So that we have seen. So these are the three ways I would recommend. Okay. Did I answer the question, madam? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> the second question is: Is coronavirus stimulus cancer? Okay, so okay. See, even now I'm not into totally into pharmaceuticals, but whatever the uh, message I know. Okay, so um, um, till now, the, whatever the studies they have done and whatever the result it's out, it doesn't not uh, cause any um, adverse effect like you no know, uh, causing cancer or things like that. But it will reduce this. Okay, after the um, um, symptom, it will reduce your immunity level because of the medicine what you have taken and you know the stress what you see again you know, the moment you are stressed out your immunity level will goes down okay so as a result you may get some other like you no know, diseases don't get panic again so that's what i was telling so if your immunity level goes down you may get a uh, skin disease kind of a stuff okay so again you no know, scientific community or the doctor community they are there to take care of you and to guide you properly so there is no evidence okay to say that after corona you will get a cancer now, right again now one more uh, information to the student community and to everyone in fact right so there are a lot of messages will uh, spread around the whatsapp and facebook and things like that please don't you know follow all these you know uh, what do you call that unrelevant unrele messages this kind of message it has to come from a relevant source like you no know, if any uh, message or um, um, information came from who then we can relate it out don't ever follow and um, get you know panic with your uh, message what you get via whatsapp or through the facebook okay so here is a third question so as today the theme of the webinar is the signs of happiness so the question goes like this can happiness be measured scientifically if yes why it is important to be measured if no why not can sign um, so thing can be measured scientifically yes okay 
scientifically in the sense say for example okay i will take one example of mine okay that's what i was telling i just uh, i am a scientist till 2015 right and i was an individual contributor what that means is i just go to the lab and i work do a lot of cloning things like that right okay now i am leading a team that means i just you know um, increase my skill level from scientist from a molecular biology i have learned lot of this data science data analytics and programming so now i am here so that's the reason i am so uh, energetic and you uh, know so enthu to share that i am leading a team so that is the happiness level you can measure what is the second question madam sorry if not if not why can't it be measured okay um, i really do not know the answer for the second question but you can measure it say if people are so happy okay okay so that is the kind of a measurement i could say thank you sir yes other question is here is it safe now to go out for a work and our send and send our children to school the question is about safety whether it is safe to go to school or not okay um uh, yeah so uh, following if you are if the kids or whomever right so if it is above 18 years if they have taken a vaccination okay yes they can go but again having said that with the proper precaution right one is uh, the um, uh, you have to wear the mask okay and uh, no okay, follow the social distancing and sanitize frequently see that's what i've just mentioned uh, after taking the vaccine okay the vaccine both the doses will uh, surely it's going to protect 80 to 85 percentage okay so it's not going to be 100% but the severity is going to be only 10% not like you know people does not take a vaccine the severity is going to be like 100% it can lead to fatal uh, thing also right so that's the thing and again no sorry i missed your question this is uh, this is the you no know, precautionary measures you have to follow is it good to send kids to school something like that yes yeah make sure yeah that's a good question again no it's there in everyone's mind okay um uh, even no um, uh, i have given a consent form to my daughter's school okay what i have said is make sure i am sure that uh, teachers all uh, vaccinated right so make sure uh, these are the questions you have to ask to the school also right so how good the vaccination program has been done in the school right so everybody should uh, in the school uh, teachers should be vaccinated okay and if they follow the right uh, precautionary measures yes kids can go and kids have a lot of immune power okay that is what the who um, um, says is and again um, that's the reason they are delaying the uh, vaccination program for kids also kids will have lot of immunity power and by this time okay two years the newborn kids they themselves have the immune power you uh, know from the birth itself so uh, again just you know avoid panic but follow these safety measures i think we can uh, succeed so we cannot stay forever at home right so um, so follow the good practice okay be positive follow good practice i'm sure uh, things will go move forward yes yeah, so the last question sir uh, what is science behind happiness what is science behind happiness yes okay so that's what you know a couple of slides we have seen right um behind happiness say if you are stressed out right um read books okay so one way you can just you know um uh, you just overcome with the uh, you know um, stress then or hear you no know, hear lot of good music that way you can just overcome with stress right and uh, to be uh, very happy like you no know, increase your skill uh, set so now you you are can as a students okay you will uh, um, study, learn your subjects and you are excel in that but just think of what next can i just you know uh, be uh, can excel in any of the sports or uh, you no know, any other uh, things any other skills can i do it so by doing that i think you no know, you can overcome the stress and you can be very happy and you can be a, uh, you can be uh, no successful life as well that's my uh, message 
Okay, thank you, sir. There's another question as well. Is there any immunity booster vaccine for children under the age of 10 years? I don't think so, but kids have the immune, uh, immune power already. Eat healthy, okay? Don't go with pizzas and burgers and things like that. Eat healthy, okay? And no, stay healthy. That's it. I don't think there is an immunity. But don't know. That's what again, no? See, these are all a supplements, supplements, right? Why you want to go for a supplement? Like, you know, avoid having pizza. See, I'm not saying, uh, see, this is the age you have to enjoy, right? Having pizzas, you know, once a month or once a week, one time, once in 15 days, it's okay, not regularly. But having said that, follow a good, uh, you know, healthy lifestyle, okay? Move to, uh, like, you know, having a good home prepared food, things like that. That's a suggestion. Thank you, sir. So one more question uh, is regarding the vaccination. So during the Tika Utsav, which was happening recently in India and it was continued. So in that process, people were, and in a sense, students and everywhere, everyone were busy with the social media platform. They were, wanted to know more things. But in that manner, uh, we have got some videos where the it was shown that after vaccination, you get you get to in what is it sense of magnetism in your body, a kind of attraction towards the metals. Is that a right one or a, is just to be? Mm -hmm. I'm not uh, again. No, there is no proven message, right? So people have been telling that, but there is no proven message. Don't believe. So believe only the uh, uh, no message from a uh, uh, authorized source. That's what you know the message is. Okay, don't believe anything. Okay, that's all kind of a distractions. Okay, there is nothing like that. There is no um, like no scientific findings like that. So don't go with that. I'm telling. Thank you. Right. So we are done with our Q and A, sir. Thank you very much for briefing us more about the questions what students have asked for. It was really indeed a great information. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir. Thank you so much for the nice questions. And again, no, I'm not I may not be the right person. If you have any more questions, please reach out to your teachers. OK, you know if they know they will um, know in uh, let you know. If not, please pass on, madam, uh, we, uh, whoever I can just reach out to our company. We will get back to you on that. Okay, thank you so much for the nice questions. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, for that inspiring talk and wonderful session. Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam rightly said, when learning is purposeful, creativity blossoms. When creativity blossoms, thinking eliminates. When thinking eliminates, knowledge is lit. And when knowledge is lit, economy flourishes. The Jesuit in particular have made enormous significant and contribution to the development of science. Let's have a look at the fancy dress on Jesuit scientists along with other activities of Cyplo 2021. It's a time to applaud these young minds who have displayed their creativity and innovation in the science exhibition. Telephone. I was born on 
March 3rd, 1847, in Edinburgh, Scotland. My father's name is Alexander Melville Bell and mother's name is Eliza Grace. I invented the hearing aids and the telephone. After many years of experimenting with my latest invention, I made the very first phone call from my room to that of my assistant, Thomas Watson. On March 10, 1876, I wanted the sound of my voice to be sent to a machine and be heard in other places. I was trying out a new idea. I had invented the very first telephone but was made of some very strange things. These included a metal cone, a thin sheet of parchment, a cork, a needle, a battery, and a cup of acid. This was the moment that changed the way we communicate with each other finally, which became the telephone today. <laughs> Ingredients 
oats, basil, cumin seed, salt, turmeric, chopped onion, uh, grated carrot, coriander leaves, ginger, green chili, water.
A big round of applause to all the students who have taken part in this exhibition. Feeling appreciated is one of the most important needs that people have. When we share with someone our gratitude and appreciation, they will not forget you. It's the time to appreciate our students for their participation, contribution, and hard work for this exhibition. Now I request Shirley, ma'am, the academic coordinator, to announce the prize winners of Cyplo 2021-2022. The following are the prize winners for the year Cyplo year 2021-22. Fancy dress on scientist, Jesuit scientist class one. The first place goes to CJ Grace Laura 1B. The second place goes to Ani Ruth 1B. The third place goes to Philatus 1C. Fancy dress on scientist, Jesuit scientist, Class 2. The first place goes to Alan Clement 2B. Second place, there's a tie. Diriksha VC 2B. Joshua Sanjay 2B. The third place also, there's a tie. Mohit Joshua 2A. And Julia Maggie Rego 2D. Simple Science Experiments Class 3. The first place, there's a tie. Rashid P. Aki 3C, T. M. Ujwal 3B. The second place also there is a tie. Hansel Shane 3B, Neil Anthony 3D. The third place also there is a tie. Yashvi Jain 3A, Ved G. Nair 3C. The flora and fauna in different landforms of India, class 4. The first place there is a tie. The first place goes to Steve Rodriguez 4A and C. Curran 4C. The second place also there's a tie. The David Santosh 4B, Rion Orwin Pius 4A. The third place Ashwin Harish 4C. Value of medicinal plants class 5. The first place goes to Sam Thomas Joseph 5A. The second place goes to Felix Gabriel 5A. The third place goes to Anya Maria de Sosa 5B. Food and its nutritional value, class 6. The first place goes to Nitya S 6A. The second place goes to K S Shiva Arjun 6B. The third place goes to Shri Mai Sucharita 6C. Creativity in Science, Wealth Out of Waste, Class 7. The first place goes to Alan Joshua Lobo, 7C. The second place goes to Elton Samuel Lewis, 7C. The third place goes to Mohammed Sufyan Khan, 7D. Innovative Science Experiments, Class 8. The first place goes to Mohammed Kashif Ahmed, 8C. The second place goes to Mohammad Rasa SD 8C. Third place, there's a tie. Krishna N. Gujar 8C. And Michelle Ria 8A. Innovative Science Experiments Class 9. The first place goes to Mohammad Fayez 9C. The second place goes to Rohit M 9A. The third place goes to Noura Irfan 9C. Innovative Science Experiments Class 10. The first place goes to Mayur Kumar 10B. The second place goes to Rishit Gupta 10B. Third place, there's a tie. Yashita VD 10B and Nitya Shri 10A. Congratulations to all the prize winners. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. I request Ms. Divya to render the oath of thanks. Gratitude is not only the greatest of virtue, but the parent of all others. A very good morning to all. It gives me immense pleasure to deliver the word of thanks for this event. I, on behalf of St. Joseph School CBSC and its entire fraternity, first of all, extend my most sincere thanks to the God Almighty. I extend a hearty thanks to the resource person for today's webinar, Mr. P. Philip Chidambaram, for gracing this occasion and sharing a thought-provoking talk on the webinar topic, the science of happiness, 
health and well-being during COVID-19. Sir, it was indeed a very informative session. A warm thanks to our rector, Reverend Joseph, Father Joseph Rodriguez for his constant support and encouragement. A special mention to our respected principal, Reverend Father Rohan Di Almeida, for providing us with this wonderful opportunity and for being the catalyst that stimulated to do our best. Our sincere gratitude to the coordinators, Ms. Shirley and Ms. Sheba, for the constant support in all our endeavors. I would like to extend a special thanks to all the judges of the competition who have spared time from the busy schedule and judged the competition with utmost willingness. I extend a heartfelt thanks to our coordinators of today's event, Ms. Anusha Vas and Ms. Selby, for working tirelessly to make this event a real success. Thanks to Ms. Sandhya for MC, Mr. Anand and team for invoking God's blessing upon us on this special day, Ms. Anusha for introducing the chief guest, Ms. Akshita for beautiful side flow posters, Mr. Praveen for video presentation, Ms. Annie and Ms. Reema for being the wonderful moderators for, for this event, Ms. Shirley for announcing the prize winners, Mr. Rajesh and team for designing e-certificates, Ms. Selvi and team for issuing the e-certificates to the participants, Ms. Yashashwini, Ms. Akshita and Ms. Rani Williams for live streaming the webinar, science teachers and class teachers for guiding the students for the smooth execution of the event. The event took its shape with, with your combined effort. Your days of hard work did bear much fruit today. Our sincere gratitude to all the parents, students and well-wishers for your rock-solid support system and encouragement. Lastly, I thank all the participants whose contribution made Cyclore a grand success. I would like to wind up with a suitable quote during this tough time. Stay positive, better days are there on their way. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you all for joining with us with this annual science exhibition. We promise to meet you again with new thoughts, thinking and better achievements. I would conclude by saying science is a beautiful gift to humanity. Let's not destroy it. Thank you all for joining today. Have a nice day. Thank you all. Thank you, sir.